This is an Adasio how-to on how to import your class roster into Adasio. Once you've created your class roster in an Excel spreadsheet and saved it to your Dropbox, you will be able to import it into Adasio. We use Dropbox and Aurora so that we can share information back and forth really easily. I know a lot of districts are using Google Drive and share information that way. I have not tried to import information using Google Drive quite yet, something I plan on doing in the future. But in Aurora, we don't use Google as our default email and Drive cloud-based systems, so we use Dropbox. So we'll be using Dropbox as an example here. Once you've saved your class roster into Dropbox, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your Dropbox account that is on your iPad and go to where your class roster is. I'm going to be importing my elementary PE staff. I've created a, a roster of elementary PE teachers in Aurora so that we have easy contacts with each other uh, and where everybody is as an example. So I'm going to import this. I'm going to open it up. And now in my top right hand corner I'm looking at a couple of things. I'm looking at the trash can, um, writing to, favorite it with the star, and I've got a box here with an arrow pointing up. That is how I'm going to import it. I'm going to open it into my Idacio app. So when I press this button, it gives me different options of what I want to open it in. I'm going on the bottom, I see copy link, print, and open in. I'm going to click on open in. And it gives me the options of open in Sheets for like Google Drive stuff or open in Idacio. And I'm going to open it in Idacio. Now, when it opens it into Idacio, it gives me some import options. In my import wizard, create a new class, append data to a new class, or add as a resource. You want to create a new class. Now, it is added in. It is blank. It gives me all the information that I put in my spreadsheet automatically into my class. On the right-hand side, on my tabs, it doesn't say any information because I have to add in what it is for my tabs. But what I'm doing is right now, all I did was create a class roster. And so when I create a class roster, you'll see names on the left-hand side. And you won't see school. You won't see phone number. You won't see email. That's things that I have created for us as teachers in Aurora. <clears throat> so when you create your class roster, you just have your rosters on the left-hand side. When I go back to my main page for Adasio, I will see elementary PE staff at the top. Okay, That's what shows me where it is. When I click on that, it shows me my class rosters here. Now, when I go through here, it has all my information. If I want to rearrange my classes in here, all I need to do in the top left-hand corner, I have my left arrow. I have my three shadowed icons of students, I have my pen, and I have a tool. I'm going to click on the tool, and once I click on that tool, I'm going to click on students. When I do this, I, I can rearrange my students in any order I want. I personally like to see my students by last name, so when I go on the top here, I'm going to go to sort, and I press sort. Once I press sort, I'm going to go to name two. Name two is the last name. Some of my students in Aurora, we had our students have two last names and so I go by the first last name that I see when it comes up in uh, Infinite Campus so if they have two last names I'll go by the first last name if they only have one last name it's still going to be name number two so when I press on name number two I'm going to go down and press sort and it has now sorted my students by alphabetical last names when I press done in the top right hand corner I have all my students listed here in alphabetical order. This is a how-to on how to import your class rosters into Idacio and organize them by different categories. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. It's ndspencer at aps.k12.co.us. I hope you are enjoying the how-tos, and if you have any questions, uh, please email me. If you'd like to see another how-to video, email me there, and I'll get another how-to video out to you. Thanks.